Hello all, welcome to part 12 of SNG training series. In this session, I'm going to explain and practically demonstrate how to use optional parameters in TestNG. So let's get started. In the previous session, I covered how to use parameters in TestNG. Okay, if you have gone through the previous session, understanding the current session, that is this session, that is how to use optional parameters in TestNG will be very easy, okay? So if you have not watched parameters in TestNG session in the previous session, okay, go back to the previous session, watch it and come back guys so that it is a continuation you can say, okay? Optional parameters is a continuation of the parameters. So as I already mentioned, parameters, what is the purpose of the parameters? Uh, if you want to pass parameter values to the TestNG test methods from TestNG XML file, then we have to use parameters in TestNG, okay? From TestNG XML file, if you want to pass the parameter values, instead of hard coding these values in the test methods, if you want to pass these values from the TestNG XML file, then we have to use the concept of parameters. We have to create parameter tag in the TestNG XML file. At same time, we have to create at the rate parameters annotation in TestNG test methods, okay? That's what we have done. Now, what if we don't pass, we provide the what if there is a situation where, for example, there is a situation where at the rate parameters is mentioned here, but from the testng.xml file, we are not passing any of these parameter values, then what will happen? The value will not be passed and script will fail. For example, here I'll do one thing. I'll open the testng.xml file. So I'll take the first parameter, guys. I'll not pass this, okay? I have removed this. But the parameter is mentioned here. URL parameter is mentioned here, URL will be taken here and URL will be passed here. But am I passing the URL parameter value from the testng XML file? No. So if I run this testng.xml file, this time the test will fail because the URL parameter value is not being passed. You see that? It got failed. What was the reason for the failure? Okay, let's see the testng results and see the failure. Testng exception, parameter URL is required by at the rate test on method. So you're not passing URL from the testng.xml file, okay? Testng.xml file, you are not passing the URL parameter, which is required by this test method here. So there is another way, guys. What, even though you are not passing the parameter, okay? Even though you are not passing the parameter from the testng.xml file, okay? Still, if you want this particular thing to work, what you can do is, before this spring URL, you just mention an, uh, an uh, annotation known as optional optional and provide circular brackets and give a space case, okay? Import this optional from testng library. And in this optional you provide, if you don't get the URL from this testng XML file, you don't get this uh, uh, URL value from this testng.xml file, then use this particular application URL. For example, uh, I'll give this, use this as an optional, optional, okay? Use this as optional value if, if this particular parameter doesn't receive the URL from the testng XML file, then as an optional thing or as a default thing, use this URL, okay? Now save this. Now run the testng.xml file. This time, optional value will be given the preference. Run this. The script will run, guys, okay? Even though the testng XML file is not passing the parameter value, but still the script will run because if it is not receiving, it is taking the uh, optional parameter, okay? It's considering the optional value that is mentioned here before this parameter of that test method, okay? So what if there is a URL here? What if there is a URL here, okay? But what I'll do is I'll go to the testng.xml file and uh, here again, I'll mention the, sorry, again, I will mention the parameter here, parameter name is equal to, if I give, if both are there, for example, if uh, optional parameter is there at same time, the value is being passed from the testng XML file, then which one will be considered? We are passing the value from the parameter actually. We are passing the value from the testng XML file and also here there is an optional parameter. Then in that case, which value will be considered? For example, I will be passing a different value. Let's say I'll pass login thing like this login URL I'll pass. Okay, here also my account is there, login is there, so no problem. So copy this and paste this. Here login is the URL, okay? So if in case we have this optional parameter value, at same time testng is also passing the parameter. In that case, optional parameter will be given the preference or 
this parameter value that is being passed uh, from the test change XML file will be given preference. Simple answer is the parameter value that is passed from the XML file. Since since this test change XML file is passing this particular uh, URL as the value to this login test method, that will go and fall into URL and here optional will consider this as optional case. It will not take this one into consideration. Rather, the URL that we are passing from the test change XML file will be considered here and that URL only will be taken to. Okay, we can see that. Okay, that URL. The, the URL value which is passed from the test XML file will be given preference over the optional value. Okay, if it is not passed, then optional value will be given the importance. But if it is passed, if it is passed from test change XML file, test change XML file parameter value will be considered. Okay, run this. You see, the, just observe the URL in the open browser, guys. You can see that uh, login URL will be there by default. It will open the login URL and remaining things will all be same. Just, you see, login URL has been opened here and uh, again, it will click on my account and all those stuff, okay? Click on my account and then, okay, the thing is like that. So hope you got the idea of the optional parameters, how to use optional parameters in test engine. This, this topic is a continuation of parameters in test engine where if you don't pass the values from the test parameter values from test engine.xml file, then at the rate optional parameter uh, value will be considered, okay? But if you are, if, if the test method has optional at same time, if you are passing the value from the test engine.xml file to these parameters, in that case, the test engine value, test engine, uh, test engine parameter value will be considered or given preference over the optional value. It will be only, con optional value will be only considered when test engine is not passing the parameter value, okay? Okay. So this is what I mentioned. Preference will be given to the uh, test change XML file passed parameter over the default parameter or the optional parameter. Okay. So this is all about the this is all about the optional parameters in test change, guys. Okay. This is an example also I gave here at the rate optional. Besides the test method, we have to give at the rate optional and provide the value optional value. If the value is not passed from the test change XML file, then optional value will be considered. If the value is passed from test change XML file and if the still optional value is there, test change XML file value will be considered over the parameter value will be considered over the optional value. Okay, so, so this is all about the optional parameters in TestNG, guys. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to cover another TestNG topic for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.